Quarantunes number 13. <laughs> hey everyone, hello friends, Dave McDonald here. Ready for another little drawing with Dave McDonald. Hope you're prepared today with a pencil and a piece of paper. You can see that I already got a little head start on my warm-up shapes today. <clears throat> if you've been with me, you know that I like to warm up using circles, and I like to go around several times each time on that circle. Again, it just loosens up that drawing hand, right? Gets you, helps you train your hand to draw those simple shapes. A couple shout outs real quick. Carolina Park Elementary. Enjoyed working with the students there for a couple weeks this year. Chastain Road Elementary. They're over in Clemson country. I think I was in... Chastain Road Elementary, right about the time that Clemson University was playing in the National Championship football game. So that was exciting. Lots of Clemson fans over that way. <clears throat> right? And I wanted to shout out a special hello to Sartak. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Sartak. He's in India, he's a young artist, and he contacted me. And he's enjoying these videos, and he likes to make comics. So welcome, my friend, all the way from India, Sartak. All right, I think I'm warmed up. Today what we're going to do, we're going to draw something fantastic. Something from the fantasy world. How about a dragon? A dragon and when I draw a dragon or a dinosaur I like to use that um, the letter capital letter D look at the capital letter D looks like this doesn't it dragon dinosaur but if you turn it like this it's a half basically a half circle or a half oval however you turn it and I like to use that shape when I create my dragon now, if, you, if you've been drawing with me, you know that I, what I like to do is use my pencil first, <clears throat> kind of rough out the basic shapes of the character, be it the head or the body or the hands and the feet. And then I go over and I'll use an ink pen to finish the drawing up. So go ahead, this um, dragon, his head shape is the letter D, capital letter D, kind of turned over on its side. So let's get that going here. All right, capital letter D turned over on its side. <clears throat> All right, now put your pencil here, the top right. Do this, we need kind of a U shape. A U shape that goes down and up. This will be the back of the dragon. And to create the body, we will put our pencil right about here, about the halfway point of this capital letter D. We'll come down almost to the bottom and then join it up with this end of the letter U, watch. See that? Just a, a curve line that comes up, stops right there. He's a big fat dragon, must be eating a lot. <laughs> and I have something in mind for him to eat as well. Stay tuned and watch what that is. Put a triangle here at the end of the dragon's body. These are fantastical creatures so we can kind of design them any way we want he's gonna have we'll see his big hind legs here so put an oval shape here and that, that'll end up being part of his leg all right like that and then put a big flat oval here we're gonna give him big feet based on that oval shape let's see he's gonna have his hand up to his face so do this, a little elbow macaroni that goes up like this. And then small oval at the end to represent what his hand will be doing, right? Eyeballs, we'll give him a big eyeball here, kind of a big oval or circle shape. And then right next to that, not a whole oval, we only see part of that eye, so it's a little curved line right next to that oval. All right. Upside down letter U. One nostril. Other side of the head. Upside down letter U. Two nostrils. 
Okay. Two little pupils that will be here. Looking down, our dragon could be, maybe he's got some silly hair at the top. Maybe he even has some little horns you can draw. And this is where in schools sometimes, oh, triangles, triangles down the back. Sometimes people in schools, my student friends will say, oh, he, does he have wings? And I'll say, well, maybe yours could have wings. I always, I leave the wings off because he's on the ground. Maybe he, maybe he could have wings. Yours could have wings. I'm going to keep mine like this. <clears throat> All right. Here's basically the shape. And so why don't we go ahead and start inking or drawing the character with our ink pen, right? Covering over those pencil lines, silly hair. Eyeball. Okay, nose. Round this off a little bit. See, I didn't make quite a sharp turn right there. Upside down letter U. Upside down letter U with a little black nostril. All right. He's gesturing here with his hand. You'll see why shortly. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put that in there. Do this. Claw. One, two, three. And then back down. And so now we can continue his, his head. Maybe his mouth is open. I think his mouth is going to be open. He's a little bit startled at something. You'll see why soon. Those two dragon horns. <laughs> okay, let's do his back. From the bottom of his eyes, come down, just a curve line. Boom, do that little triangle at the end of his tail. And let's start his body. Let's stop right there. Thicken that up a little bit. Give it a little more weight right through there. Okay, so he's got the top part of his leg. Goes like this. All right. And then that foot. Again, just using that oval shape as a guide. Maybe he's got some toenails or <laughs> his toenails need trimming. And let's see, the back part of his tail comes down, stops right there. Thicken that line up just a bit. There we go. And then we'll do our little triangles. I think I'll use my, just my felt tip marker here. Just triangle after triangle, isn't it? Triangle after triangle. They get a little bit smaller as we get towards the tail. We can stop anytime. I could maybe I'll stop right there. All right. And then let's see on his body. We don't have to draw a bunch of scales, but we can draw some scales, like the letter U or the letter W, right? This gives the indication of some scales on his body. Again, we don't have to draw all of them, though. Okay. He's looking at something. He's a little concerned. Let's draw the... Let's draw... 
the horizon in the background. There's the land. Here's the sky. Ooh, how about over here real quickly? Oh, this is going to be fun. A little, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Put a little rectangle there. Square here. Another rectangle. Triangle on top. And we'll create a real simple castle behind him. Let me do this real quickly. Triangle. Maybe some roof. Maybe put a little, <laughs> little flag at the top. And maybe a little window in there. That's where, isn't that where the princess lives? Little indication of bricks up here. Doorway, big latch, maybe a moat in the front. Wacky shaped. That's a wacky castle, isn't it? <laughs> Little roof shingles, another flag. I don't see a princess in the window, so what we're going to have to do is put our princess down here. <laughs> Here's what the princess is doing. Watch this. We'll just draw her real small, little circle there, little elbow macaroni here for a dress maybe. So fan it out at the bottom. Okay. And let's see. She's a princess, so she's probably got a crown on her head. Give her some curly hair. And let's see here. She is holding something. Watch this. Let's ink the little princess. Triangle crown with the little circles at the top. Some gemstones there. Curly hair. And she's not happy. Because, well, I'll show you here. Let's do real simply do her hands. She's holding something. What is it? What is she holding? Why, it is a marshmallow that got burnt and it's melting and it's smoking. <laughs> what do you think she was making if she was toasting a marshmallow and it accidentally got burned. What do you think she what do you think she was trying to make? That's right. A s'more. <laughs> Must be the s'more kingdom, right? And here's how we make maybe just after he um accident that's why he's looking like this. He's a little bit um he can't believe what he just did because he just burned with you know fire breathing dragon. He burnt her marshmallow. So some straight lines coming out of the nostril with some curved lines at the ends of that. And some, let's do this, make some puffs of smoke. All right, real quickly, straight lines, curve lines.
I think he feels bad, of course, that he burned up her marshmallow. Maybe there's some lingering flames here. <laughs> He feels bad. He didn't do it on purpose, obviously, right? He looks like a friendly dragon. I don't think he would have done that on purpose, especially if they live in the land of s'mores. <laughs> That's a place I would like to visit. The land of s'mores. A place where you could eat s'mores all day. Graham crackers are my favorite part of the s'more. I can eat graham crackers just by themselves all day long as a snack. It's a good snack in school too. I think we got started on that in preschool, right? They brought the graham crackers out. You knew it was going to be a good day at school when the graham crackers came out. <laughs> all right, let's clean off our dragon here from S'moreland. Our sad little princess and our sorry little dragon. Things will get worked out though. I'm sure it's not a big problem. There's my, gotta add a cloud in there. Always like to have a cloud. All right, how'd your dragon come out? <laughs> Is he sorry that he burned up the marshmallow? Poor little princess. That's okay. It was an accident. <laughs> hey, I hope you had fun drawing our little uh, mythical dragon, s'more eating dragon and princess today. Uh, we'll be back here again another time together. Okay, stay safe, be well, take care of each other. All right, bye-bye.